Ever since the Nintendo Wii U came out, the DRM policy has been under a lot of fire. After all, it is just like the Nintendo 3DS's DRM policy in that every game you purchase is linked to your system. And even though the console has an ID system, the IDs are linked to your console, making it pretty much useless, unless you're logging into the online site to view Miiverse. However, recently Nintendo has been trying to band-aid the fact that they have a problem. First with the account system on the 3DS, which isn't a true account system because you still need to have your ID linked to your console, and now with Wii U to Wii U system transfer. However, this is very flawed, as the way it works will pretty much tick you off. Now just for comparison, on the Xbox and to a similar extent, on Steam and PlayStation Network, if you log into any console, you can download your games. Now, it works slightly differently depending on which platform you're on, but I'm going to use the Xbox as an example. On the Xbox, you can log into any console and download and play your games as long as you are online. However, if you go offline, your console has to be linked to your live account. Now, keep in mind, of course, if you get disconnected from Xbox Live, you'll lose access to your downloaded content on that Xbox. However, Microsoft designed the system with this in mind, and if you do a license transfer, which, mind you, only requires one working 360 to do, you could have your other 360 water damaged, red ringed, whatever, and you'd still be able to do this because all you need is one working console. Now, you'd think that Nintendo would look at the competition and see, hey, this is how we should be doing things. But apparently, what they've done is yet another band-aid fix to the real problem. Now, what did they do with this system transfer? Well, let's take a look, shall we? So, to do the transfer, first of all, you need both your consoles working. So, let's just say if your Wii U is waterlogged, stolen, or broken, as in, let's just say it won't even turn on, you're already out of luck and you have to call Nintendo. And of course, Nintendo support isn't real good because you'll have to have both serial numbers, which can be hard if your console's been water damaged. And you'll also have to go through a bunch of other stuff just to get your games back. When on the Xbox, you could do this with just a simple press of an A button. And as part of the process, all content from a Wii U must be transferred. You cannot just transfer a single user or ID through this process. So if you wanted to buy a game console for, let's just say, your little brother and give him that Wii U and keep your Wii U and take all his content and put it on that Wii U, too bad. You have to transfer all the content. And all the content on the target Wii U will be lost when the console is formatted. Now, this isn't too much of a problem if you're trying to, let's just say, get a new console because the disk drive of your old one failed. But if, let's just say, you're trying to copy all, like, let's just say, one ID, you can't do that. See the first thing. The source Wii U will be formatted once the transfer is complete, so if you wanted to keep some content on your old Wii U, too bad. Nintendo Network IDs that previously existed on the Target can be relinked after the transfer, but if they are, content purchased by them on the Target Wii U will become available for download, and the save IDs that previously existed will be deleted, I mean save data, so you'll lose all your save files, and any USB storage devices will have to be formatted again. And there's also a limit of 12 IDs that can be linked to a single Wii U at once. And Wii menu, is, Wii menu digital content is transferred, but it's not deleted from the target. The only good part is that the Wii menu content from both will be combined. Oh, and you also need a network connection, so don't even think about doing this offline. You might also want to purchase the optional Ethernet adapter, because after all, even Nintendo themselves said in, this, in one of the Smash Brothers Nintendo Directs to buy an Ethernet adapter. So honestly, what's the holdup? Putting tiny band-aids on it is not going to fix the major problem with this. You know what is going to? Fixing the DRM so it's an account-based DRM like what everybody else uses. I mean, let's be honest here. Sony, Valve, and Microsoft know how to do it with digital games, so why can't Nintendo? That's all I have to say on this.